everyone, I am Ricky, and welcome to today's edition of The Mouse Bites. Now, The Mouse Bites, for those who don't know, are your latest Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and Universal Orlando news. And today, we're starting with the big news of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Now, the annual pass holder previews were released yesterday, and unfortunately, if you didn't make it in, you're not going to get to go. Uh, I apologize. Um, but... Um, Pass holders were able to um, make reservations uh, yesterday and uh, they were able to do so from August 17th to the 21st. And for the good news is if you're not gonna be able to be down there, I am going to be there on the 17th. So I will be ready to share with you all um, what I'm learning from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge when I step foot inside the land. So I'm very excited about that. Make sure you're following along with the Mouse for Less on all of our social sites um, so that way you can be uh, there while I'm there and you can experience the land with me. Moving on, we have some news about Christmas at Walt Disney World, and it's for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Now, new this year, there are going to be some great additions courtesy of some attraction overlays. Now, this is the first time that the attractions will feature holiday-themed overlays uh, during the holiday season, uh, during the holiday party, I guess I should say. Uh, guests can experience uh, the Tomorrowland Speedway, where you'll find yourself cruising a festive freeway filled with thousands of lights and stylized decor. Uh, the Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor is going to invite uh, guests to be introduced to a brand new holiday themed show. At Space Mountain uh, there's going to be dazzling lighting and high energy holiday tunes and then at the Mad Tea Party you're going to spin your teacup to one of four new holiday combos of lights and music. Now this is all in addition to the new um, fireworks show called Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks Show. So it looks like it's going to be a great year for those who are looking to experience Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Speaking of the holidays, uh, Disneyland has announced their dates for the holidays this year, and they will run from November 8th through January 6th. Now, Disneyland has a fair number of um, activities going on for the holidays, so you can see the Believe in Holiday Magic Fireworks Spectacular. There's also the A Christmas Fantasy Parade, uh, Sleeping Beauty's Winter Castle, uh, Main Street USA will have, be all decorated and it will feature a 60 foot tall Christmas tree. Uh, it's a Small World is going to be transformed into It's a Small World Holiday. And finally, Haunted Mansion Holiday will occur once again. Um, and moving to Disney California Adventure, World of Color Season of Light will return once again after a brief hiatus uh, where it did not appear last year. Uh, the Disney Festival of the Holidays is going to occur with the festive food marketplaces that feature holiday dishes and beverages that feature diverse cultures and family traditions. There's the Disney Viva Navidad Street Party. Uh, Cars Land is going to be all decked out, uh, and there are two attractions that are transformed for the season, Luigi, Luigi's Joy to the World and Mater's, Junkyard, or Mater's Jingle Jamboree. And uh, you'll also be able to be greeted by the snow car who sits on the road to Radiator Springs, and the other Cars characters get in on the holiday fun too. At the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail, guests will be able to uh, do activities uh, with Santa and his sleigh full of mischievous elves at Santa's holiday uh, visit. And, and on Buena Vista Street, you'll be able to marvel over the dazzling 50-foot Christmas tree. Now, of course, it's not just all holidays today. Uh, well, this is still a holiday, but not the Christmas season. Uh, instead, we are going to talk a little bit about the Halloween season. And uh, if you have a fear of clowns, gonna let you know you you may not want to go into this house for Halloween Horror Nights and that is because the killer clowns from outer space are going to be appearing in a house this year now this was a very popular scare zone from last year and it did so well that it is being transformed into its very own house so this cult classic film um, will allow guests to come in contact with these very scary <laughs> clowns. Uh, you'll also meet new characters like baby clowns, Boko and Clownzilla, as well as new scenery uh, like the Clowns Circus Tent Spaceship and the Cotton Candy Cocoon Storage Room where they keep their victims. Yikes. Uh, throughout the house, you'll smell uh, 
cotton candy, stale buttery popcorn, and ice cream. But just keep in mind, it's all a happy illusion as the murderous gang of clowns is waiting for you in the shadows. Uh, the Killer Clowns from Outer Space is the seventh house announced for Halloween Horror Nights 29, and the event kicks off on September 6th and occurs on select nights through November 2nd. Tickets are on sale now. So if you uh, like being scared by clowns, you might want to buy some tickets for <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights. And yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all the news that I have for you today. Make sure you're following along with the mouse for less on all of our social sites. Like I said, you're going to want to make sure you're following along because we will be there at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on the 17th. That is the first day that guest uh, pass holders could visit uh, the land. So I have the very first day I will be there. Um, so make sure you're following along on our social sites. So you've got Twitter, you've got Facebook, you've got Instagram, um, you've got YouTube, uh, which won't be necessary for following along on for that activity, but you definitely want to be subscribed to our YouTube channel so you get notified when all these Mouse Bites videos go up. Um, also, uh, you're going to want to subscribe to our Pinterest uh, uh, boards. Uh, we have lots of trip planning tips on our Pinterest boards. Um, and if you're not following along with those, you definitely need to be. And uh, otherwise, we're going to see you the next time on The Mouse Bites. Happy Friday, everyone.